today, Maria has the sweetest little trees that she made from Tool, everybody. They look like they're gonna dance off the table and they're certainly gonna dance into our hearts because they look <laughs> like little sugar plum fairies. I swear, Debbie, this is probably the most versatile oh. DIY ever. It's so fun for Christmas because you can make them, like you said, sugar plum fairy-esque yeah. with pastels, but you can That's also nice. make them very chic with this sort of forest green That's right. and Beautiful, do a full Maria. forest like that for tables, for um, any kind of decor. And I want to tell you a really sweet story. <laughs> okay, us. so I told Debbie I had a story for her. I went and got my passport uh, renewed. I had to go through this whole process because the name changed and all that. Yeah, from course. I, they looked at what I did as my job on there and I will tell you, everybody there was telling me how much they love Hallmark, how much they love our Christmas movies, and how they look forward to seeing what <gasps> DIYs that we do because they are prepping their DIYs and they cannot wait for Christmas in July. Well, this is for I was so everyone happy. at the passport office in Los Angeles. <laughs> Awesome, Maria. So that just made me so excited because I know that now people, it doesn't matter what time of year it is, we are planning yeah, our Christmas exactly. DIYs now. And you know what, if it's not for Christmas, you could do this for Easter. That would be just as cute on an Easter table. Real cute. Like I love me a pastel. Skirt. All right, so I clearly see that we need a lot of tool. Yes, so that's the thing about tool is you get a lot of bang for your buck when it comes to tool because a little bit goes a long way. There's okay. so much fluff involved. So the base I have for this, it kind of depends on how big you want to make your trees. So I have my wood little plaques here. You get them at the craft supply yeah. store. I did a hot dot of hot glue. Um, you could use wood glue, but I am, like I said, a very impatient crafter. So okay. I just do that, and this is just a dowel that you can get at the craft supply store as well. Cut them down to whatever size you like. I'm gonna move this out of our way, but that's all you do. Let it dry completely, and that's your base. And Cameron and I were teasing earlier. Cameron thought we were talking about tools. We were talking <laughs> about tool, but the truth is, you really don't need any tools. You do not need any just tools glue. for this because you could, you know, really drill yeah. a hole in there if, if you, you wanted, wanted to, to but, but you don't need to. Okay, so to figure out the sizing for our tree, you want to start with the base. So all I do is actually take some of the tool and I just hold it up, and that's how far out that I want it to be. Okay. So then what I do is I actually measure that. I love using these boards here, so it's about 10 inches. All right. And uh, then I cut it, and once I cut it, I do a whole bunch. Like over there. Like I have right here, and I'm gonna hand this to you, Debbie, okay. so you can help me. You and all you tying. do is start knotting. That is it. Okay. This is what you do. And by the way, I had no idea that tool came in so many different colors. You can get it online or in craft supply stores, and they come in a variety. Yeah, I um, And see can that. I give you a tip? As you tie, yeah. just tur do one, and kind of turn it a little bit like it's a little clock. And keep and then, going? Then you keep going. So you okay. want the knots to kind of go all the way all right. around. And I imagine this part probably takes the most time of everything, which would be a great time to catch up on some of our Hallmark movies. Like Paige always says, this took me three Hallmark movies to make. Exactly. <laughs> this is definitely going to take you a Hallmark movie, depending on how many you want to, want to actually make. And time flies when you watch Hallmark mo movies during your crafts. And tonight, they're airing a homecoming for the holidays oh, on Hallmark movies. One. Movies and Mysteries. I love this one. Yeah. It's a sweet movie about country singer Charlotte returning to her hometown and being inspired by everything around her to start writing music. And that includes the adorable veteran Matt you can see right here. I think he's adorable too. That's why I'm watching <laughs> again. And it's a great movie that will inspire you to do something creative yeah. too. I love doing that and getting inspired by everything around you. Because we're going to be entering spring. That's why I wanted some pastels. Yeah. And you know what? It is such a sweet movie. You know, I've got a soft spot for veterans in my heart because my oh, husband's a veteran. It's yeah, a exactly. really, really great movie. So definitely catch it. Now, I guess I just continue to continue do this. Continue to do correct? this. And it turns into this eventually. Yes, so when we're at this point here, okay. I have another pile over. Fun. It's so it's actually very it's really satisfying fun. as you keep going. And so this one now as I move up, I do it I cut it about like two inches smaller. So these are about eight inches as we cut, and then I would continue to move up. And so okay. this is where, Deb, uh, I can hand you this, and I'm gonna grab one of the pink ones. Okay. So see these guys here. I, I love the pink. They, they're they're very ballerina. Cute. Now this is when you actually trim the tree. So no, oh, it's you, not you trim and you really do trim it. Oh, so this funny. is, it's not gonna be a, a perfect one because sometimes as you cut the tool, it's either imperfect or as you get higher, it's hard to tie it okay. uh, to make it so short. So it actually works out better that if you hold it like this, you literally, this give is a like, haircut. yeah, you give her a little haircut <laughs> and you do this and what that actually does is you can see like, for instance, I'm looking over right here and then I will take that and I'll cut it because then 
It makes it so it's shorter at the top, right. flares out that at the bottom. And the other thing I like to do is at the bottom, I like to actually go around to create that kind of like nice circle because the more uh, condensed it is, the more the color fills. So if it's too oh, spotty, it's so you don't have the, like the depth of the actual enough. tree that you want. Yeah, and I love how you tied bows on the top of those, but the other yes. ones with the little stars, no, exactly. no tree is complete without a star. It is, and so that's the thing. I, I loved the green and I wanted the green to kind of take up as much space as possible because I loved the chicness yeah, of really it. Pretty. But I also love the sort of juxtaposition of using something rustic. This kind of reminds me of Paige as well. Paige should have been part of our oh segment. My goodness. Like the little bit of the, the kind of fluffy frilly with something oh rustic, very rustic chic. The juxtaposition of that is really, really pretty you and special. You and you could use anything <gasps> for the top. You could use an Easter egg. Debbie is ready for Easter, Easter everybody. <laughs> Our little chick popping out of it would be like a little skirt for a chick. That would be so cute. Oh I love gosh. me a pastel. You know what? You're one of my favorite chicks, Maria. Aww. I love you. For full instructions, you all can visit HallmarkChannel.com. And while you're busy crafting, don't forget to watch A Homecoming for the Holidays tonight on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.